Well, welcome to Make Food, Make Love, the cooking show for guys where I show you how to cook so that she loves you more. Now, what are the three words that you need to say to your girlfriend at least every two, three days? Hmm? Hmm? What are those words? If you're thinking it's I love you, then you're wrong. If you're thinking it's let's make love, then you're also wrong. Those three words that I'm talking about is I am sorry. And you know you have to say you're sorry whether you've done something wrong or not. I am sorry is something that you're gonna have to get used to, especially when you're in a relationship. Right, so nothing says I am sorry better than a cheesecake. Welcome to Make Food, Make Love. The cooking and relationship show strictly for guys. In this series, we'll show you how to make simple, delicious dishes for your partner. Let's get cooking. With your host, Chef Geff. So to begin, we're going to need to make the base. Now the base of this cheesecake, you're going to need some ginger biscuits. Or you can also use some um, digestive biscuits as well. So this can be a ginger flavored or they can even be chocolate flavored if you, if you wish. And all you're going to do is uh, open up your box of biscuits. And then what you do is you throw it into a, uh, a process, a food, food process, right? And then what's going to happen is that you're going to pulse this. Now you're not going to make it into a fine dust. Now, if you over uh, process it, over uh, uh, blend it, what's going to happen is that you're going to end up with very dusty, very sandy um, a base, a very sandy base, and that's going to uh, make you cough when you eat the cheesecake. What you just want is just crumbs of cheesecake. See, now, pressing up this button is called a pulse, so what you're going to do is just pulse the cheesecake. So once you're done with that, all we have to do is remove our biscuits from our food processor and then what you want to do is actually add in some warm butter. So I've got about 125 ml of warm butter. Now to um, liquefy your butter all you're going to do is put it into a microwave for about um, 10 seconds or so. So I'm going to add in that butter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a spoon. All right. Now I think that I've actually used the wrong uh, container. <laughs> wrong meaning I think it's a bit small, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this into another container. Okay, so I've transferred our biscuit base, biscuit butter base to another container. And then what you want to do is basically press down on this base, right? Press down because this is your foundation of your cheesecake. So as you allow this to press down, in fact, you know what? Better if you actually use your hands. Alright. Use your hands and squish down the base of your cheesecake, right? So with that done, I'm gonna stick this into the fridge for about 10 or 15 minutes while we make um, the, the heart of our cheesecake. So part two of putting together our cheesecake, let's get going with this. What you're gonna need is a bowl, and then you need to grab yourself some condensed, uh, sweetened condensed milk. So one can of uh, sweetened condensed milk goes um, into a bowl, right? So to that, we're going to add about 125 milliliters of um, lemon juice or about one large lemon. Now, before I cut open this lemon, what I want to do is I want to actually save the zest of this lemon, right? So I'm going to actually take a micro grater and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grate off some of the top, the zest of this lemon because uh, it's, it's just gonna add more flavor to your 
cheesecake. Push up, and I'm just going to squeeze out, bring out uh, from the lemon. So you always have to use your hand. Now, if you're new to using a blending machine, it's very do not make the beginner's mistake of putting it on high, right? Because then stuff is just gonna go all over the place. What you wanna do is start off with, with a one. So firstly, do not put it on and then place your blender into uh, your mixture. What you wanna do is place, uh, place the blender in, right? Make sure it's at the bottom and then start it off gently with the lowest setting that you have on your blender, right? And you just allow that to go. Alright, so it's taking me about uh, two minutes or so and then what we have is this beautiful thick mixture that you have in here, right? So it just wants to fall off your spoon. So with that done, it's time to move on to our, ne our next step of making our cheesecake and that is to prepare our fresh cream. So let's get going with that. So to get our fresh cream ready, all we need it's about uh, 250 ml of uh, fresh cream. So you're just gonna open up this tub and pour it into a container. Now I'm gonna be using a I'm gonna be using a stick blender. If you don't have a stick blender, you can go ahead and use a whisk. Now it will take you a bit longer, but uh, it's quite fun anyway. So what I'm going to do with, with my stick blender is that I'm going to um, Now you have to be very careful when working with cream because you can very easily if you overbeat your fresh cream you'll end up with butter so what you're looking for is just your fresh cream to go from liquid into a semi-solid state right? you don't want it to become uh, if, if you overbeat it, you're going to end up with good butter, but this is not what the recipe is calling for. So let's go ahead and beat it. And my fresh cream is actually ready. As you can see, this is what you're looking for. It's just that, you know the fresh cream that you find in donuts? Mm. That is the consistency that you're actually looking for. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove this and then what's going to happen is that we are going to add our fresh cream into our uh, uh, sweetened condensed milk and our lemon, uh, lemon mixture. So let's just uh, use our hands and get in there. The thing about baking is that you can never ever bake without making a mess. If, if you can do that then you are some sort of god or some sort of genius because it is very difficult to to bake without making a mess i, I find that uh, actually one of the reasons that I, I i don't like baking so much is because it always leaves a lot of mess mm. and when you're baking one of the golden rules is you have to lick your fingers a lot all right so what we're going to do is that we're going to add in our fresh cream our cheesecake. Now, I just want you to imagine what the flavors are going to be like. You've got fresh cream, you've got sweetened condensed milk, you've got lemon, and now to this mixture, what are we going to add in? We're going to add in our plain cottage cheese. We're going to add in our plain cottage cheese. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I have here is just some plain cottage cheese. Now make sure your, your cheese is at, is at room temperature. And what you want to do is that you want to remove it from the container. And this is about 250 grams or so. Now we're gonna 
very gently beat this, right? Because remember, we already have, have our fish in there. So we're just gonna very actually not beating. We just want to mix everything together. When I do that, and then you want to use your spoon. Right. And then just put this aside. And you just want to bring it all together. If you notice any lumps in your cheesecake. Just flatten it out with your spoon. Now to this, we are going to be adding in our lemon zest. Oh, the smell of lemon zest. There's nothing more refreshing than that. Alright, so that's it there. Next up. So that is ready for adding to the base of our cheesecake. So let's get our base and let's put it all together. So here we have our base and there we have our cheesecake mixture. All that's left to do is to add in very gently our mixture to our base. So if you want you just let it all fall in there. Then what you want to do is just spread it all out as evenly as possible. Make sure you cover the edges, make sure that it is even. Just use your spoon to level out your cheesecake. Now you want to use a uh, glass container or sort of a see-through uh, container because you want to be able to see what is happening in the bottom. Again, you know, don't be afraid to lick your spoon. Mm. That is so beautiful. You're getting that that lemon, that the, the taste of that lemon with that cottage cheese just sort of dance on your tongue. Mm. Really divine. So what happens next? This goes into the fridge for about two hours, minimum of two hours. In fact, if you leave it to set overnight in the fridge, it's even better. But about two to four hours, if you leave this in the fridge, you know, you can possibly put uh, some more uh, lemon zest on the top if you want. You can even add slices of strawberry. Uh, you can even take some flake, crumple it up and lay it on top and it's all ready to eat now like i said nothing says i am sorry better than a homemade cheesecake not only is she gonna forgive you but <laughs> she is going to love you more and more and more so this goes into the fridge two to four hours or overnight if possible and that is my well my mom's recipe on a lemon uh, cheesecake I know my girlfriend loves cheesecake, so she's gonna absolutely love devouring this. So thank you for watching, make food, make love. I'll see you again on our next episode. If you do try making this lemon cheesecake, remember to post your pictures and tell me how your partner thought about the food that you are making to impress her and to get her to love you even more. So until next time, happy cooking.